this is Mikey Fieber here. Um, I'm originally from Pomona, California. A professional basketball player. I'm uh, playing now in Taiwan with the Taiwan Leopards. Too much, too much. Switzerland to China, Korea, Lebanon, you name it, I've been there. Um, but like I said, now I'm here in Taiwan uh, with my family, and I'm very happy and very excited to be here. Oh, so far it's great, man. Um, way better than I expected. Um, the fan base is amazing. Uh, people really love basketball here. Um, the Taiwanese culture is great. Uh, food's great. My family's happy. We're very comfortable. Um, Probably the best, the best place I've played throughout my entire career. Then my wife, she does a great job of uh, making me feel at home. Uh, coming home to home cooked meals, not having to worry about cleaning or you know taking care of the house or anything, and uh, that really helps. It's, it's a big help. So uh, it, it lets me, it helps me be able to just focus on basketball. He make everything comfortable for us to come, and you know he's tired, so I make sure that he got a meal cooked. And, you know, ready for his routine to go sleep before he go practice and or before a game. Uh, so I ask him, we program before, like, what you want to eat tomorrow before the game. And most of the time, it's pasta. After a long practice or a game, and I come home and I smell this when I walk in, it makes me want to cry. <laughs> I mean, coming home to my family after a loss, and you know, getting getting to see my daughter's face, her smiling, uh, doesn't make me forget about the loss completely. But of course, it makes me feel a lot better. Without them, I don't know how to function. Um, I need them both with me. They keep me grounded. They keep me focused. Um, they're the reason that I work so hard. And um, I mean, they're my they're my life. They're my everything. So without them, there is no Chef Mike FIBA, whatever you guys want to call me. And um, I really appreciate them. And thank you, fans, for noticing the love that I have for my family. Um, at the end of the day, that's all that matters. It's all about family and uh, your loved ones. Most countries that you play in, I mean, they have their own import rules. When I played in Dubai, sometimes the games are very late at night because uh, part of the season was during Ramadan. So we had our games maybe at 10.30 p.m. when you're used to playing around, you know, two in the afternoon or six, seven p.m. at night. Culture is different. Uh, take for example, I played in Saudi Arabia last season and before the games, they may have their prayer time. Uh, at halftime, they'll have another prayer time. European basketball, to me, is um, it's not like in, in Asia or like when I played in China, to kind of just give the ball to the import and you create for yourself and for everyone. In Europe, it's more tactical, like, like you're playing chess, uh, moving the ball a lot more, looking for the open shot. Like I said, every country, their basketball style is totally different. You can't really say one country is the same as the other. All totally different, import rules, culture, referees, uh, style of play. But uh, like I said, I've been all around the world, and uh, I've luckily been able to adapt and play in, in every league. Well, I, I didn't start basketball young like most people. Um, or most kids that are from where I'm from. Uh, I used to hate basketball, and I was terrible at it. And uh, I used to always want to play American football, but I was always really, really skinny. My dad was like, no, you're going to hurt yourself, so you need to pick something different. So uh, when I was around 13, 14 years old, I started playing basketball. I grew up watching Kobe, and uh, man, I just fell in. He made me fall in love with the game even more. Um, literally sit there and rewind almost every move that Kobe made and I would watch his footwork, uh, watch how he played defense and I would just study him, study him like a book. And uh, I would go to the gym uh, by myself and just practice his moves, practice his moves all the time. I actually got the chance to play against him in LA in the Drew League uh, one summer, the summer where the NBA was uh, on lockout. And uh, Kobe came down to the gym and I was able to guard him, you know, feel him and uh, watch him up close and personal, you know. Uh, he scored on me three times. I got one basket on him as well. But uh, I was in awe the whole time. Uh, I, just, I couldn't believe it was happening. 
Uh, and then we had the unfortunate passing of him. Uh, actually, the, the day that he passed away, I was in a tournament in Dubai. I've never cried with, uh, for anybody passing away, but I cried like a baby when he did because, man, it was just, that's the person I looked up to and, you know, mimicked my game after uh, for the most part. And everywhere I've played, most fans always tell me that I play like him. So, I mean, it's, a, it's an honor to just have my name mentioned with his for, a, you know, style of play. But yeah, he meant a lot to me. His mentality, of course, the hard work and dedication. Um, that's what I, that's what I try to do all the time. And I try to preach that to my, to my daughter, my wife as well. I'm not sure if many Taiwanese fans know, but Kobe, most of his childhood was in Italy. Yeah. And that's where my wife is from Sardinia. That's where we live. Um, Sardinia, Italy is a small island. And um, the gym where I actually work out in every summer is a gym that Kobe would come to and play in as a kid with his father. Uh, he was around six years old. Uh, and we have photos back in Italy from uh, different newspapers. and. Uh, has Kobe with all the kids and you know the coaches then and his father in our city where I live so it's just crazy to to now be living in a place where Kobe Bryant actually grew up um, maybe it's meant to be maybe his spirit is inside of me <laughs> I hope it is and I hope it continues so we keep getting these wins that's what we need here <laughs> oh man we have a really good core group of uh, young guys that are uh, working very hard um, me and Dwight, we have been, you know, helping them, teaching them. Um, they're coming along very well. We finally are starting to mesh and, uh, you see, get some wins. Uh, but I think they have a bright future. Um, of course, the league is new, the team is new, uh, management is new to this. Um, but they, they have a, a very good mindset and uh, vision for the future here. Um, they take care of everybody very well. Uh, they've treated me and my family like royalty. Um, we're very happy with everything here, and uh, uh, I do believe that uh, the Taiwan Leopards have a very bright future. If everybody continues to work hard and be dedicated as they are, uh, yeah, very, very bright future.